This is called a Twitter. I got a Twitter, copy the photo to my clipboard, throw it in the art program. Load. Load, damn you. Okay, there we go. Um, File. No. What do you mean, not new from clipboard? Get onto my clipboard. Clip, I say. Clip. Hop onto the clip. I knew this would be this difficult. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. You, fine. You, you want to be like this, Google Chrome. You want to be like this. Hello? 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 It's... I feel like something has gone wrong. Something has gone terribly wrong. Ah, what? What could it be? What what could it be? Something something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong. Hello? Here we go. I was touching grass. Hello? Me touching grass. Me, me touch grass. Me touch grass. Me, me touch grass. I, I touch grass. Me trying to touch grass? I'm not trying to sh prove that I touch grass. Actually crash the stream. I'm never touching grass again. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Me trying to prove that I touched grass destroyed the stream. I I actually broke the internet. Yeah, had us in the first time. My my interwebs went down. The grass was too powerful. Yeah, if I touched the real grass, I would have stopped being a streamer entirely. No, no, it was it was it's me. It's me. My my. Which session is has restarted? I have an I have an unstable connection. Um, oh, I forgot how long we will actually. No, I can check when I went live by checking Twitter. An hour ago, only an hour. Discord. Okay. Um, hopefully... Six thirty-seven. Well, I'm gonna give it, like, five? Like, not even five, I'm gonna give it a minute to see if the connection's gonna even out. If not, technically... <clears throat> technically, I went for the, the two-hour period. Um... Like, I could definitely keep going, but if the connection's gonna be kind of, kind of bad, we're gonna... We're not gonna continue, because it's gonna be terrible circumstances, so let's... Let's, um... Let me save the art file? And then let's, I guess, chill for a little bit, um... Let's, let's just chill for a little bit, I guess, and see if the connections are gonna... The connection's gonna even out. Um, welcome back, Geo. I'm <laughs> apparently I'm dying. Me trying to prove that I touch grass is is too strong. Is too strong. 
Yeah, I got I got the two hours in. <laughs> Uh, that's it's too strong for my my follow-up by the way i, I had a follow-up plan for that twitter post and i'm i'm afraid i'm afraid of the follow-up now because i don't i don't trust it i don't trust it anymore i, I can't do the follow-up you saw what happened i i tried to prove that i touched you know Try to prove that I touched that kind of grass. Imagine if I tried to prove I touched real grass. Yeah, I had a I had a follow up to that. Um, no, it's 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 kind of dying. It's kind of dying. I think it's kind of dying. Um, I had a follow-up to that post where I touched real grass, so if the stream crashes right now, um... If the stream crashes right now, that that's why, is because I actually touched grass. The sand-owned pets, um... My roommates have a cat, so I'm basically a cat aunt now. It's basically my cat. Whose grass is that? Um, it's it's the public grass. I I went out to a public location and I touched the grass there. And don't worry, this wasn't in Korea. I know that you can't touch grass in Korea. I know you can't touch grass there, but you can. You're allowed to touch grass in this specific area. I know that it's sanctioned to touch grass. All, all the regulations. It's it's public grass, public grass. So we're we're gonna see if we we stabilize. If not, um, let it be known that if you try to touch grass or you try to prove that you touch grass is um. And reveal went. I don't know. I don't know. Jacket, jacket reveal. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's my sleeves. It's my sleeves. You know, it's my it's my sleeves. I got sleeves. Got got the sleeves. Who knows? Actually, hand reveal right now. See, hand reveal. Bam. Got him. Um. Model's really wigging out tonight. <laughs> um, anyways, hand go away, hand go away. Easy, easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do have a lobster on my arm. Um, it's... Originally, it's supposed to be a plush lobster, but ever since I've come into this body, I can't say whether or not the lobster's still inanimate kind of moves around um it kind of moves around so it it jams so i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you wouldn't be me wouldn't be me doing that it's got a mind of its own but um yeah real grass um i think the connection it's i'm like looking at the thing it's still a little spotty um still a little spotty i'll i'll Hang out as much as I can, but if it if it hits the fan one more time, you feel if it you, you know what I mean. If it <laughs> decides to no stuff again, um, it's probably gonna be there for the evening. What's something low intensive we can do in the meantime? Um, just cause I I like. People, this is this is all just me an excuse for me to get out of continuing this portion of the animation. Um, what what's something I can do in the meantime? We got the art program open. What can I? What can I do? What can I do? The temperature getting hotter. You don't like it. Um, I I I can't help you. There's um. 
So Canada has this thing that I've dubbed the Time Lobster. So America has this thing where, um, it's called Groundhog Day. Where you check if a- oh my god, with the models working out, um, it has this thing called Groundhog Day, right? Where if the groundhog actually- wait, wait why don't I just draw Groundhog Day? Genius. Genius. Um. Every elf? Yeah, I, I don't know about that one. That sounds highly internet intensive. Um, so, groundhogs, they have burrows, I think? Or do they live in logs? I don't know a lot about groundhogs. I know more about aquatic animals. So basically, the idea is that, like, the groundhog comes out of its, like... That's not what a groundhog looks like. Um... The groundhog comes out of its little hovel, right? And, like, it's it's towards the end of winter. If the groundhog sees its shadow, then that means spring comes early. But if the groundhog does not see the shadows, like those clouds over the sun, and it does not see its shadow, it forecasts, like, six more weeks of winter. Bill lives in a house. Okay, anyway, so Canada has... I'm, I'm not Canadian, by the way. I just learned about this. They have this thing I've called the Time Lobster. Why lobster? Um... So, Canada has this thing called the Time Lobster. That's what I'm calling it. And it basically does the same where we watch grass grow. I'm kind of down for that, to be honest. I'm... I'm kind of down for the, um... Um, kind of down for the grass. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Time Lobster. Time Lobster. Um... So basically, they have a lobster. And if the, I, if the lobster sees it, it does the same thing, you know? It does the same thing. I think. I could be wrong. Like, the lobster determines whether or not there's, like, there's six more weeks of winter. There's, you know? That's the same thing as the groundhog, but it's a lobster, so I call it the time lobster. Um. Anyways, um. Where, where was I? Why a lobster instead of a crab? Um. Well, you know, um. Law speaking, law speaking, um, I'm trapped in this body because, um, the person who trapped me in here wants to be a crab. I used to be a crab and now I'm a lobster. Um, about lobster law, yeah, um, also, I just really like sea animals. Um, I really like sea animals, and so let, let's just say, in the grand scheme of things, um, when I was I was searching for you know non non crab body, there were no crab bodies available. So um, we we got <laughs> we got put in the next best thing. Um, So that that's a bit behind it. That's that's a bit behind it. Um Law wise speaking, um I am not in this body of my own choice. Real speaking, don't I look great? <laughs> um time lobster, time lobster. What do you guys think? Do you think we've stabilized now? Do you think we're stabilizing? It looks like I'm stabilizing, but, like, that bar is really tiny, so... Alright, let me, let me look at it a little bit longer. I'm gonna stare into your soul right now. Okay, no longer staring into the soul. We're just funking out the, <laughs> the program. Um, oh my god, oh my god. Um, gonna stop staring. Yeah, we 
I don't know. Are we stabilized? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're hanging out. Um, we're hanging out. That's okay. That's okay. I think, I think I've derailed myself. Um, talking about, I, I am actually down though to watch grass grow. I, do you think there's YouTube videos for that? Or do you think I'd have to like go and find some grass? Like, and position the camera at grass. Do you think I have to do that? Or? I hope there's a really good YouTube video of grass growing. That sounds kind of hype, to be honest. I I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of intrigued about... Like, seeing some grass grows time-lapse, but, like, okay, imagine if they had, like, real-time grass growing. Like, wouldn't that be insane? Get down to watch animals. There are live animal videos. There's lots of, like, zoos and, like, aquariums. There's, um... Did you see what I posted to Twitter a while back, Tio? I, I spent like a day live tweeting, um, like not the whole day, but I spent a portion of the day live tweeting watching this nature camera of an eagle. Two, two eagles in the nest. When was that? It, it, actually, no, you wouldn't have been there. It was, it was before I started streaming. Um, it's on, it's on YouTube. It's, um, let me, let me copy the link address. Let me. No problem. That's okay. Um, I don't know if it's live right now, but I, I was watching. Yeah, let me copy this image and then we'll open it in here. So I was watching this eagle on the camera. I couldn't tell if this was the male or female. And then at a point later in the stream... They swapped out, and you can see the egg. And then it went back to the other one, like, sitting on the egg. But it was, it was pretty exciting. I don't know. It is a pretty American bird. It is. I was more invested in, like, look at the background. Isn't the background really pretty? And it had a lot of, like, nature noises. So I was just like, oh, you know what? Let me, let me chill with this dedicated mother for the day. Highlight of the stream. It was, it was really hype, I will say. It's, so I guess if you like ambient nature noises... It, it, there's usually a lot of ambient nature noises. Um, yeah, no problem, Dio. Um, I, I only use Twitter because people were like, oh, you know, Twitter's good for, like, showing yourself out on social media. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get my boomer self to learn how to use Twitter. I don't, I don't know how Twitter works. Um, what else? You know what? I also live-tweeted watching a video about, um... From how it's made on airplane food, and I'm like, you know, I'm finally gonna learn what the deal about airplane food is. And I, I, I don't know what the deal is. The video didn't tell me. It really didn't. Like, they cut, they called out the entire NA palette, like, saying that they need less spices on the airplane food in America. Then other countries, I'm like, damn, okay. And then, like, at the end of the video, I'm like, I, just, I don't know what the deal with airplane food is. I just, I don't know. I still don't know. Um. Yeah, relatively speaking, majority of the stuff I post to Twitter ends up in the Discord, and if it doesn't, it's probably something random. Like, me saying that I'm, like, I don't know, like, live-tweeting a video. Um, 
and if not, it's probably something I'll bring up on stream at some point. So you're not missing much. If anything, you might be having the best experience not looking at Twitter. <laughs> um, and the only other thing that you see on my Twitter is like, I'll, I'll retweet a lot of my sister's stuff. So there's a lot of like random like other Japanese anime girls on my Twitter feed. Cause I'll I'll like like and retweet some of my sister stuff. Like I have a, I have a new sister. She's coming out soon. She she just got her model rig. She looks really cute. Let me um. She's really cute. What's what's her name? Let me go look at her name. Her name is Yume Tan. Yume Tan. Yume Tan. So she's got she's got like these two little buddies. What the hell is happening with my? She's got these two little buddies on her shoulders. Um, she's cute. She's got- she's also got pigtails, but she's got, um, like... Mine are very exaggerated. <laughs> um... It's the underwater physics. So, yeah, she's cute. Um, she's my new sister in Japan. Um... She's, she only speaks Japanese! You, you could follow her, though. You can follow her on Twitter. She's cute. Um... So yeah, I, I follow them, and I like retweet, and sometimes I, I throw the Romanji at them. Um, there's this other guy I like, there's this other guy I follow, he's... I'm very taken with his model. Let me, you know, let me take the time to showcase this guy. Um, I don't even know how to, what his name is? Like, I don't know his name. I actually don't know his name. And it's not because I can't read his name. It's because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce it. So he, he, he's kind of crazy. Like... Bolly hack? Sam hey? <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's... He's kind of cool. I, I like his design a lot. And he... He does like... He does like... I don't know, he does like demonic campfire ASMR video? I don't speak Japanese, so I don't understand a word of what he's saying, but like, I, I think he's cool. More power to him. And he... Does she speak Yukio? None of them speak Yukio. Um... None of them... I don't... None of them speak Yukio. One day, maybe one day, one of them will play Yukio and I... We can, we can communicate via that. Um, he doesn't speak Yu-Gi-Oh either. He does speak FGO, though I don't think there's any collabs for that. He, he also does like a lot of music stuff from what I've seen. He, um, he recently released a cover, actually. Um, and the art for it went hard. Really hard. Like, the art for it was really cool. And then, um, like, he has music stuff where he, like, um... He... what does he do? He, like, listens to songs and he, like, talks about his, like, opinion and review on it on stream, I think. But, like, yeah, so that's him in the bottom there. And that's, like, one of, I guess, his VTuber friends. It's, like, a like a duet, I guess. He's he's cool. I like him. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but... I don't really go on Twitter that often either, but when I am on, like, about to get ready for stream or something, like, I go, I, like, go down the list and I see who's, like, posted recently, and I try to, like, like their posts and retweet their stuff. When I do see that things, I'm not, I'm not super, I'm not super active, though, like, I try, I try, I probably don't do the most amazing job about it, but I, I definitely try. Um, I do try. I think. I think I do an okay job. Um, I, I get a little bit sad though sometimes on Twitter because like I'll see my sisters like retweet fan art from their like Japanese fans and I'm never on there because like obviously I'm they don't know I exist because I'm not Japanese and I'm like ah uh, all my sisters in a picture together I'm not there so who knows one day maybe I'll just do like a big family drawing or something, um, who knows, who knows. Am I- Friday is number day? It is. 
Friday is number day. Friday, we will continue the number tier list. Mark your calendar. Mark your calendar. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna close that now. Um, that's my, my random, random rants. I think we've, I think we've stabilized. I'm gonna stare at this bird for a little bit. Very calming. Very calming bird. Um, thank you. Thank you, Helga. Appreciate it. Yes, we're, we're gonna, I don't think we can finish it. We can try. Yeah, no problem. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. Have a nice rest of your evening and hope you, I hope your dreams aren't plagued by the time lost. <laughs> No pro I I will I will post it on Discord. Um it's going to take a little bit cuz what I have to do is after we finish like rating everything. I don't know if it's like maybe it's just a me problem, but it wouldn't let me upload all 147 images to the tier list website. So what I'm doing is I'm saving each of the pictures as what tier I rated them, so like A tier, B tier, etc. Then I'm going to upload them in batches onto the website and sort them into a single column and have that like sort them you know like who's like the highest in the a tier column who's the lowest etc and when, once i do that for all the columns i'll stitch all of the photos together afterwards but it's it, it shouldn't be too bad it shouldn't be too bad there's probably an easier way of doing it but i don't trust i don't trust the tier list on the website and my inability to upload all 147 images I think backs up my belief that that their tier lists aren't potentially accurate enough to include all the number monsters because I'm doing the forbidden ones too and all the ones that have like C or like S like before it, you know, doing all of those. Let me let me close my things. Actually, wait, is this important? This might be important. Let me save this. I don't know. It might be important one day. Who knows? Um, really big tangent. Really big tangent. Um. Touched a time lobster. I didn't, but somebody I know did. I think they did. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. It's gonna take a while. I think we can finish it in three streams. We did 60 last time, and that's like me extending the stream sometime over. So, I, I think we might be able to finish it in three streams. But I don't want to, like, do the streams back to back. Like, not not in terms of, like, so I'll do it each week. But I don't want to do it, like, Friday and then whatever day is next. Because, like, I don't know if whoever's there Friday can make it to the other day. And also because, like, I think I'd lose my mind. Um, I think I'd actually go kind of wonky. Um, see how this is looking. Let's... I forgot to put the thing after it, so that's why it's just hanging there as all the stuff plays in the background. But it's actually looking pretty good, I think. For the snippet. Um not not too shabby, I think. Um, where are we? Oh, 
Sorry, I'm trying to find where we left off. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you can't follow- what do you mean the time lobster has you shook? You can't blame this on the time lobster. Oops. Groundhog Day lobster. Blame the lobster for an extended winter. And I guess you can blame it for the temperatures coming back. Um, don't blame the time lobster. Um, well, I'm running out of content to talk about. Not that I need to talk about one, but, um, no, I don't know. My, <laughs> my, my brain is starting to, I, I think, I think I had a lot of energy coming home and I think I did okay during the stream. I think it's just like, I think the, the whole adrenaline of like trying to find the cat is finally catching up to me, maybe. I think that's what it's doing. I think it might be sapping my energy. Who knows? Um, like I, I keep staring at this frame. Like, maybe... Maybe... You know what? You know what? Let, let's try this. Let's try this instead. Let me... Let me duplicate this layer. And then let's go here and F6. And then let's go to the next frame. So what I'm gonna do is, since it seems like I'm kind of on like a... Kind of like a... I'm on a bit of um... Like a... Like an artist block on this portion? Yeah, at your limit for today? No problem. Have good rest, Allie. Enjoy the rest of your work. And thank you, thank you. Likewise, I hope you have a great evening. Um... We can... we can pause on this portion. And since we're pausing on this portion, we can... we can skip to the next portion. And we can come back and finish that later. Um... This one is the, like, the, like, hand thing. And I added the hair, because the ship's gonna come from behind. So the, like, pressure of the ship coming pushes the hair forward. And then there's also, like, little bits of water, because there's waves coming from the boats. So that's kind of what happens. So this is frame 12, 11, and 12. So, so we'll, we'll go up here. Make a new thingy. New animation folder. New animation cell. Let's name the folder forward. Thank you, I'm glad you like the detail. And this is frame 11 and 12. And then let's make a folder in here. Name it like how we've done it before. Frame 1. Put this under here. That should be about where it starts from. But, you know, I, consistency is key. I, if I keep doing this at least once a week and potentially more when I have time, I will eventually finish it. And that, that would be nice. That would be nice and cool. So. And then if anything, this will be our... A pancake, or a messy pancake. 
um, the like, first time you do something, it's not that great, but once you get it out of the way, you know, it, like, you know, it, it gets better, so like, you, I, I need another layer, actually, so, I need a layer for the back ponytail. Back ponytail, um, then, let's do the, what arm is that? Let's the left arm, and then the main body, and then the front ponytail, and then the water. Like I was saying about the, the, like, a messy pancake like the first pancake you put in the pan like it normally soaks up like all the grease and it's um it like usually isn't that great so like we we do our first messy pancake and then everything we do after this is hopefully much better um i hope so if not kind of doomed but grease yeah like or like, not grease, but like if you use like oil or butter, sometimes there's too much in the pan. You put like little amounts of the like batter in, so it soaks up more of it. And you don't get like a greasy pancake, then you take that one out, and then you make act like the full pancakes on like a slightly less greased pan, I think. I think that's the idea, but now with the advent of, like, paper towels becoming more popular, I don't, like, I still do the messy pancake thing, but in retrospect, couldn't you just, like, soak up some of it with the paper towel, and then you could skip the whole messy pancake portion? I don't know. It doesn't really change the idiom, but... No, I do clean my pans. It's it's a matter of like it's you know, it's just a matter of like I don't know. Anyways, no, I definitely clean my pans. I want the one the dishes. Doing the dishes. Um What am I doing right? Left arm. Um I think that's one thing I also kind of like about my design is I appreciate that like a lot of it is just sleeves. It's like sleeve stuff. I have sleeves so I don't have to actually draw hands. Sometimes I can just like cheat and draw my sleeves and it's it's nice. I appreciate that. Um Appreciate that sometimes. It, it's helping as I get used to drawing the human body. Um, I have actual hands, of course, but, you know. You know. Got the antennae. is in front of it so you should be able to actually if the angle at where the ponytail is kind of like this actually so you don't really see much of my face more like a side view maybe potentially three quarter a profile view I don't know it's like a Three quarter from the back, actually, so you can't see much of my face. That is, that is actually correct. Um. Anyways, and here's the other hand. Um, let me look at myself. This back hand is the hand with the lobster. And then I got the left arm. Well, um, 
have the lobster turned this way so you can see the lobster. Um, I guess canonically speaking, if, if anybody's doing any, um, any artwork, the lobster will change to whatever position is required to, like, have it be, if you need, if you want the lobster to be visible and framed, the lobster will change to whatever position looks best. Whether it's on the arm or somewhere else on the body. Um, if you don't care about the lobster being visible on frame, it will be it will stay in its static original position. Otherwise, the lobster will move to whatever is an optimal position for it to be seen in frame. Some lobster lore. Um what ponytail. Let's go back to our color map. Let's grab Paint for the back layer. In some ways, yeah. Some ways. It's, it's alive as you need it to be. It's in it's as inanimate as you want it to be and as alive as you need it to be. My hair kind of like does this thing at the end, kind of like that. Um, it's gonna look crazy when you look at it, but that's okay. That's okay though. Um, it helps me in the end, at the end of the day, that's all we need. Then the water. Let's make the water purple instead of... Let's make it purple instead of orange. So I can remember that it's supposed to be water. But we have... We have these little specks of water coming in. When when I'm done with this, when I'm we're done with the animation, which will take me a while, I can I can pause and take some more time to continue to add to the lore comic because I I haven't <laughs> I haven't worked on the lore comic since I started streaming, um and you know people might be emotionally invested in the lore comic, so I I must continue the lore comic. Someone may want to know more, and I, you know, I should be there to provide that, um, or work on it more later. Let me, let me go zoom out on the timeline. How much progress did we make today? What, let's see, we started on the foot today, right? So we started here, we did... I zoom in on the timeline. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We took a Ray, and then we went up to where we are now. We did 22 frames today. That's pretty good. We almost got like a full, like, because this is 24 frames a second. We almost got like a full whole second worth of frame cleaning. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's do two more and make it an even 24 for today. That, that sounds like a good place to start. Um, that's, that's pretty good progress, you know? One of, one of these days. Four whole seconds. Um, 
we're, we're approaching. No, it's like one whole second. We're 24 frames. We're... I think the whole thing right now is sitting at just under 5 seconds. So we're almost at the... Almost at the 4 second mark. Let's grab all colors. We got pink already, so we need a dark blue. Oh, we need an in-between from here to here. What we could do is we could draw this one first. Where the hand is down. And then we can use the, um, we can use the onion skin to draw the in-between for both of those. So, let's go ahead and do that. And the onion skin, for those who aren't um, familiar, is a tool um, in most animation programs that allow you to see the frames before and after a certain frame at a slight opacity. Yeah, yeah, definitely sweating, Wummy. Definitely sweating. It's, um... Um, it's, a, it's a process, it really is. That does not really look like a hand at all. Um, Looks a little bit more like a hand. I think I think it's getting there. How's it how's it coming along? It's it's getting there. It's getting there. Um we can do a short run through after I fix this finger. You went to high school, the kid you went to high school with, he wanted to be a filmmaker and did shop, stop motion shorts. Yeah, it took him seven hours to get two minutes is actually, a, I think that's a really good pace, actually. Like, I'm not kidding. I think that's, I thought it was a carrot. It, it might be. Um, I think that's actually a good pace. Like, maybe I just don't know enough about stop motion. But that sounds really good, considering stop motion. Anyways, um, so this is how it's coming along. We did the foot portion. That part goes by so fast that you can't even see, like, like, look at the foot. It goes by so fast that you can't even see all the detail we did on the water ripple. Like, that's crazy. Like, you can see the end of it. You can barely see, like, all the build-up we did to, like, the end portion. Like, that's crazy. You can see, like, the, the water rippling towards the end when the foot goes down, but... Yeah, this boat. Gunkin so ship. That's what's coming in. This is, this is, um... By the way, Helda, this is an animation to summon Gunkin so ship. Um, I think I had mentioned it during the number monster string, but yeah, this is what I've been working on. It's my... My art thing I'm working on. So that's that's how it's going. I anyways, let's let us return to finishing up. Let's do these two. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was doing. Um 
return to doing this so I can feel good about finishing more frames for today because I, I did take a lot of breaks in the middle um and also there was a moderate interference there was a moderate interference in the middle when we lost connection so Okay, just double checking to keep my colors consistent. That's all. Yeah, it didn't. We we confirmed it a while back. I'm like, oh, you know what? I I I um, if it's not in the anime, I should I should do that, you know. And then we did confirm that it's not in the anime. So I'm just like, yo, it's. It's time. We'll summon Gunkin, Gunkin, uh, Uni, Uni class Super Dread Thoughts. It's we're doing the thing. We're, we're doing, we're doing the thing. For, for, um, a dual monster. Favorite dual monster. I think at this point, I, huh, if my hand is raised and then I bring it down, wait a second, this is the dual disc hand. This is the dual disc hand. Okay, that's fine. We'll add the dual disc later. Um, I think if I raise the hand and I bring it down, wait a second. Gosh dang it. Um we'll we'll switch the order for these two and I'll rename the players. Order. I was wondering why that appeared so high. Um left arm. There we go. There we go. Anyways, like I was saying. Um, yeah, it just, it didn't appear in the anime, so it's like, oh, cool, like, not only are we animating one of my favorite monsters, it, um, it might be cool because, like, it didn't appear in the anime, like, that's kind of cool, right? Like, potentially, I might be the first person to animate, uh, probably not, there's probably somebody else who has done it, but Technically, there is the potential for me to be the first person to animate Gunkin Ship. Like, if you don't count, like, the summon animation, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, to put it into an animation? Probably not. I'm sure somebody else has. But, like, potentially, I could be the first person to put it into an animation. That'd be kind of cool, you know? Kind of. Probably not. I the odds are very low. I'm sure because you are such a popular IP, probably already been done. But you know, that, that that's a new motivator. We might be the first, so we must finish it. Lot of lot of rep Gunkin sushi. So I don't blame them for not adding it to the anime. It is kind of random, so it's un understandable. Um, I gotta remember to put my tail in too. Sometimes I forget to draw my tail. Um, I do on occasion forget to draw my tail. This diamond player tried to take out your whale. <laughs> He tried to shuffle it back into the deck. That's crazy. 
nice. The, I will say the whale is pretty strong. Whale is very strong. It's definitely a, um, definitely a get me out of trouble spawn. Very situational, but, um, You had the sign negate when he tried to shuffle it? Nice. You could have sworn there's a whole archetype of Battleship XC's monsters that showed up in Zexel? Hmm. Maybe it was just the machine monsters? Because I know the machine monsters do have a battleship. But I don't know. I have never watched Zexel, so I would not know. Hard to say, really hard to say. I'm gonna drink some water. We're getting real gravelly. There we go. That's better. Very gravelly. Um, anyways. Mm -hmm. You recommend both watching it and not watching it? Fair enough. Um,. This is kind of chaotic, but that's okay. We can ignore all the other details. We just need the arm position. So now we're drawing this right in between both of these. Oh, you know, that reminds me of, um, a post I saw. No, actually, no, no, we don't talk about the post. The crazy sand. Don't talk about the post. Um, don't talk about the post. Continue drawing, Gonkin ship. Draw your arm. Good job, good job. Yeah, sometimes I talk to myself. It's, um, might be a problem one day, but it's just, it's just part of how things are right now. But, you know, I feel you, there's some shows where I'm like, it is kind of bad, but it, it is kind of good. So, if you're into that, watch it. Let's do two. Go back to the body. One, two, three. So I'm kind of stancing in this next frame. Um, which is okay. I just need to be able to like draw towards that. So on the body for this one, I should probably draw the arm beginning to raise. And then if I throw on the onion skin, probably draw the head right about here. Maybe tilt it up a little bit more. I think that might look good. I don't know. I don't know much about anatomy, so. I'm gonna turn the onion skin off because that just looks crazy to look at. It's hurting my eyes. Um, oh shoot! I gotta turn it back on. Um, I turn it back on just to see the antennae. Okay, we can turn it back off. There we go. Um, I gotta turn it back on again to draw the back. Gosh dang it! Um, it is what it is. It is. This 
isn't very clear, but yeah, that's okay. We'll put we'll work on it. We'll work on it. And it will be more clear later on. You're gonna sleep? No problem. Thank you for hanging out, Geo. I'm we're gonna be back Wednesday if you guys want to, I guess, relive the Genshin event. That's what's gonna happen Wednesday, and then Friday we're back on the number tier list. So, appreciate you, Geo. You're definitely becoming a regular. Um, wow, okay, the tracking was just gone this whole time, but have a good rest, Geo. Appreciate you. And even if you weren't a regular, I'd appreciate you for hanging out anyways, by the way, so. Just, just a distinction. Even if you're not here every stream, I, I still appreciate you guys coming out. Even though I don't feel like, oh, Sand hates me because I'm not here every stream. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh no, the, the Santon Salieri hates me. Sansoli hates me. Santi hates me for not showing up to stream. Um, no, I don't, I don't, that's, that's not how that works. No. Appreciate you in either case. Um, back ponytail right here I think looks good. Front ponytail is going to be right around here. See the lines, I must draw them. Um, well, let's, let me isolate these frames. Let me isolate these frames and we'll see how, how it looks, how it's coming together. It's either gonna look great or it's gonna look terrible. And in either case, um, we did our best. Let me, I need to grab the water detail. Let me grab this purple. Let me head over here and Okay, so that one moves a little bit forward. This one stays in the exact same place. What does it? No way, it doesn't. Does it? I... Um... No, it doesn't. Forward. Forward. Turn off the onion skin. Zoom out and see how that's looking. Straighten it. Definitely a little funky, but <laughs> it looks like I'm DJing actually. <laughs> I'm I'm spinning spinning a hot record. You say dad, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Floki. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, no, I feel you. When you have a lot of tabs that happen. Um, it, the, you know what? That's, that's actually... Pretty good, I will say. I, I think it's I think it's looking okay. Let's let's turn off the loop and just do it like a one pass through. Why is it so slow? Oh, 
Oh no, I gotta go by one by one. It's it's actually not terrible. Yeah. The loop looking a little funky, but um pretty good. Pretty good. Let me let me save before I forget to save. Let me save. Yeah. Let's um let's let's move these back from whence they came. Is this for stream? I mean, I guess. I, I kind of just did it because I wanted to do it, you know? Um, I guess I could have. Where would I even put this on stream? Like, I don't know. Maybe on occasion, instead of lobster facts, you can, you can, we can hit them with the, um, we can hit them with the, the anime episode recap. And I'll, I'll do like a little voiceover and it will just loop and it'll be like, Last time on San Salee. <laughs> you know, like instead of the lobster facts, whenever we're streaming Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe? I mean, I don't know. It, it could be, but like, I kind of just wanted to animate Duncan Sue ship. I think a cute, um, I've been saying like, so I think they're called stingers. Um, they're like the transition from one page to another. It's gonna be like five seconds. I, I doubt I could do more than five seconds. I think I'd lose my mind. Like, this is already a lot. This is already so much. But, um, it's looking really good, though. Like, I think we spent, like, oh God, how much time have we spent on this now? I don't know. Like, in upwards of 30 hours on it, potentially even more at this point. Potentially. Maybe even close to 40 hours on this now. Like, I could be wrong. Could I slow it down a little? I could. Uh, I, I guess I could, but, like, I'm trying to make it 24 frames a second. I guess if I... Timeline? Man, it changed frame rate. I change the frame rate down to like 12, you should be able to take the details in. Well, the card plays. Yeah, so, so it's the start of the duel. I draw, I play the card. The whole field fills with water, and then a ship comes in. And then it sits on the field with all of its attack points. I mean, high key, we could finish it at the 24 FPS. Hear me out. We slow it down to 12 FPS, and then BAM, we've doubled the length of the animation. <laughs> kind of, kind of a hack, if, if you ask me, kind of a, kind of a hack, um, yeah, it, it's going, it's going. Well, this is 12 frames right now. 24 is supposed to be, like, an industry standard, so I wanted to try to, like, challenge myself. Um, I will say the 12 frames isn't terrible. It's, it's, it's like, it's reasonable, you know? The 12 isn't terrible. Like, maybe, maybe meet it in the middle and do 18, and I could pass it as 24. <laughs> um... I'll know it's not 24, though. 24 is, is supposed to be very smooth. Um, 
you do miss a lot of the details, but like it, like it's supposed to be a really fast paced scene, you know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop. We're gonna revert the timeline. Yeah, we should be back to we should be back to the twenty four frames. It should be fast. Yeah, see. Yeah, now we're back to the 24. Like, it's not unwatchable. Like, it's definitely not too fast where you can't see what's going on. But it's definitely, like, a lot faster. That if you're not, like, looking in every... You can't see everything that's happening. You probably have to pause it at certain frames to take in, like, all the details. But it's not like... I can't see anything. It's... It's not a true... 24 for some of the scenes though because i do kind of space it out like the scene with the foot in the water that's actually like the one frame by one frame so you can notice how that one's like much smoother than some of the other ones and we can smooth out the rest of them later on if we want to do some more in-betweens but um I don't, I don't know if we're gonna get to the in between some. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely try. We'll definitely try. Like at this point, how the animation ends doesn't change. It's gonna be the same length. It's just every time like I export the GIF, it's going to be slightly more detailed in like the drawing because it's going from like the sketchy background to like the slightly cleaner line art. Um, even then, that's not like the full clean. It's just like helping to solidify the shapes more. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I think. Gosh dang it! How long have I been angry? Um, it's fine. This this happens all the time. I I should be used to it by now. To be honest, it's like. It's because I typed in, I typed in 12, that's why, that's why, I typed in 12. So I use the number pad for everything. Number pad for everything. Everything? Number pad. Number pad? Me. Everything. Um. Wow, we, we have a lot of options. We have a lot of options. Today is... Pretty solid day. We have a lot of options. Let's um I think we're gonna we're gonna start on the sign off. Um We have someone really fun to raid today. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, shh, don't, don't, don't tell her. We're gonna raid Rika. Um, don't tell him. Anyways, um. Um, so, yeah, today was a slower day, so let's go through the whole run through. Thank you for the, thank you for the, the resubs. Rob and Rika, I appreciate it. Thank you for the bits, Gio. It's good to see you all again, Gio, Never, Rob, Rika, Floki, Fred, Trevor, Ali, Tommy. It was good to see you again as well, Helda. Um, who else was here? Wummy? Did I already say Wummy? Wummy's here. Wummy's here. Alex is here. My, if I'm missing someone, I'm sorry. I think I think that was everybody that stopped by. Mino. Mino was here. Um. Mino. Anyone else here? I'm sorry if I missed you, but whether you're here or you're looking, I do appreciate you. And either way, either way. Um. We got the raid up. We'll go raid Rika. Um, we'll continue the animation probably next week. And um, we'll, we'll be playing Genshin Wednesday. And 
the number one fifty list will be Friday. So thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you all, folks. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go do the raid. Yep, you're all in my thoughts, one dollar. Raid. Raid, come on, raid. 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 Uh, hello, crumbs. Sorry, I'm about to raid someone. <laughs> but I appreciate you stopping by. We're, I'm doing okay today. I hope you're doing okay. We're going to be doing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Number Monsters XC's tier list on Friday. But if you're more of a Genshin person, I'm doing the Genshin event store request on Wednesday. But have a nice rest of your day, Crumbs. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're all in my thoughts, one dollar. Yeah, you're all in my thoughts, one dollar. Genshin person. It's a raid, it's a raid, it's a raid, it's a raid, it's a raid.